America's largest military shipbuilding company. Huntington Ingalls Industries announced that future Montana SSN 794 submarine was christened at the company's Newport News Shipbuilding Division on Saturday. The future Virginia-class submarine USS Montana SSN 794 honors the Treasure State. She will be the second commissioned warship bearing the name. Construction of current Montana began April 2015 and is the third of the 10 Block 4 Virginia-class submarines. On May 2018, Huntington Ingalls Industries Newport News Shipbuilding Division authenticated the keel of the 21st Virginia-class submarine, Montana, SSN 794. The Virginia-class attack submarine is equipped with 12 vertical missile launch tubes and four 533mm torpedo tubes. The vertical launching system has the capacity to launch 16 Tomahawk submarine-launched cruise missiles SLCM, in a single salvo. There is a capacity for up to 26 Mk-48 ATCAP Moth-6 heavyweight torpedoes and sub-harpoon anti-ship missiles to be fired from the 21-inch torpedo tubes. In its first ceremony celebrating the U.S. Navy's newest fast attack submarine in front of a virtual audience, Huntington Ingalls, said in a statement. Due to COVID-19 restrictions on the size of public gatherings, the christening ceremony was hosted virtually at Newport News Module Outfitting Facility. Yes, we are disappointed we couldn't host the normal pomp and circumstance today, and that our shipbuilders and their families couldn't be here in person to witness history. But as shipbuilders, we know the show must go on," said Jennifer Boykin, president of Newport New Shipbuilding. Our work doesn't stop for a pandemic, just as the Navy's mission never ends. It is our honor, our duty, and our calling to keep the wheels of shipbuilding turning, and in doing so, bring Montana one step closer to her ultimate mission of defending the United States of America. Boykin also applauded the work and craftsmanship of more than 10,000 shipbuilders from Newport News and its partner, General Dynamics Electric Boat who continue to assemble Montana. She also acknowledged the support of the supplier base more than 5,000 companies in all 50 states that provided parts and materials critical to Montana's construction. Former Secretary of the Interior Sally Jewell, the ship's sponsor, smashed a bottle of sparkling wine across the bow to mark the christening of the submarine that honors the state of Montana. I am grateful to the shipbuilders and dedicated Navy officers and crew for building and readying Montana for service to our nation and the world," Jewell said. It is a privilege to bless and christen this incredible submarine, and to join the current and future submariners as their shipmates for life. The virtual event included pre-taped segments were made of honor Mariah Gladstone of the Blackfeet Nation in Montana, recited a Native American blessing and members of the Confederated Salish and Kootenai tribes, a Flathead Indian reservation, performed a traditional Native American honor song. Representative Robert C. Scott of Virginia, members of the Montana congressional delegation including Senators John Tester and Steve Daines, as well as Representative Greg John Forte and General Dynamics Electric Boat President Kevin Graney also offered pre-recorded remarks celebrating the ship's milestone. Vice Admiral Richard P. Snyder, the Navy's Inspector General, also was in attendance. In his keynote address, Acting Undersecretary of the Navy Gregory J. Slavonic said, Montana will enhance our fleet with next-generation stealth, surveillance, and special warfare capabilities. This powerful platform is proof of an ironclad relationship between the Navy and industrial partners who form the backbone of our maritime strength. While this submarine has the capacity to project power on the surface and undersea, it's important to recognize the people in every stage of bringing the ship to life because our people make a difference. Montana is proof of what teamwork of all the people, civilian, contractor and military, can accomplish together. PCU Montana is the second Navy warship bearing the state's name. 
The first USS Montana, ACR-13, was an armored cruiser built at Newport New Shipbuilding and launched in 1906. During the ceremony, a replica of the bell that sailed on the first Montana was rung. The bell will be formally presented to the crew at the ship's commissioning, and will be part of the submarine for its entire service life. Today is an exciting day for the Navy and the crew as our sponsor christened the Navy's newest Virginia-class submarine, the Montana, said Captain Mike Delaney, commanding officer of the pre-commissioning unit. While the coronavirus precluded most of the crew's participation in the ceremony, it in no way diminishes the great accomplishment. I couldn't be prouder of the way the crew of Montana alongside our shipbuilding partners have adapted to the new normal and focused on responsibly living up to our mission. Surprising given the innate resiliency and toughness I've seen my whole career in the submarine force. This submarine, like all the individuals who have contributed to getting it to this major milestone, will stand as a reflection of strength through adversity. Three of Montana's crew members hail from the state of Montana. Construction of Montana began in 2015 under a teaming agreement with an electric boat. The submarine achieved pressure hull complete earlier this year, and is about 85% complete. Montana is scheduled for delivery to the Navy in late 2021.